Hi, it's Susan. On this Veterans Day, I join the nation in honoring the dedicated men and women who have served our country in uniform. I'm proud to represent over 40,000 veterans in Washington's first district, and I'll continue to work to support them in Congress. Over the past few years, I've had the honor of pinning over 100 Vietnam veterans and thanking them for their service. I'll never forget one veteran who told me I was only the second person to ever thank him for his service. We can do better. Today, I wanna to highlight two veterans attending UW Bothell who continue to serve our country through their schooling, volunteer work, and their goals to build a better future. Jessica Andrews, who goes by Andy, served in the United States Marine Corps from 2015 to 2019. She was deployed as security forces in 2016 and spent the remainder of her enlistment in an engineer company. The highlights of her deployment were volunteering with a women's shelter in the Philippine Embassy and the American Cultural and Educational Center in Bahrain. She also worked with the Coastal German Shepherd Rescue of San Diego when she returned to the States. Andy is about to graduate with three bachelor's degrees in law economics, public policy, global studies, and community psychology and somehow still had time to minor in human rights. Andy also has plans to attend law school in the fall with the goal of working for a human rights organization. Also, we have Scott Shirley, who served in the United States Navy from 2013 to 2018 as a hospital corpsman. Scott's job allowed him to work closely with Marines, and he really enjoyed the unique experience of being part of the Navy while also deploying with the Marines. Scott is about to graduate with a bachelor's degree in computer science and software engineering. He also serves as the president of the local chapter of Student Veterans of America and is an officer with the Association of Computing Machinery. He uses his position to help other veterans pursue their post-military goals. After graduating, he hopes to find a software engineering job and continue his work in mentoring transitioning veterans. To Andy, Scott, and all the veterans across the country. Thank you for your service.